Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paperback for the Alleyway Stamps and today I'm going to be using this Flap Happy Set to make a very clean and simple card and be doing some lots of gold embossing actually today and I've challenged myself to use this piece of pink cardstock that I've had in my stash forever and I really love the pattern that it's got through it but I wasn't really sure how I was going to go I thought I'd just give it a whirl and I'm stamping the bird directly onto the cardstock even though it's a textured cardstock and then I want to emboss it in gold and I've got the Wow Rich Pale Gold embossing powder here. I'm crossing my fingers right now hoping that this would work and it actually worked perfectly. It stamped out so well I'm really impressed. So I just hit that with my heat tool so today for my sentiment I wanted to use this word hugs from the set called Big Time. It's a really great sentiment set and I did want to emboss it in gold and I knew that that was never going to happen on that textured cardstock. So the way I thought I'd get around this was to use some acetate and acetate is not the easiest thing to emboss on. So what I've done here is I've given myself a little tab to hold onto it so I don't touch my fingers onto the acetate and I've just used a post-it note to do that and then I'll just add my embossing powder directly to that and then tap off any excess and when I hit it with my heat tool I made sure that my heat tool was really hot and that I wasn't directing it too close to the acetate and I would sort of pull away and then hit it a little bit more and then pull away again just giving it a bit of time to cool down in between and there's a couple of spots that didn't actually grab the embossing powder so I've got my Versa marker marker pen there and I just added a couple of spots over those and added more embossing powder to those and then hit it again with the heat tool so I'm cutting out my sentiment now and just leaving a small border around there and I've also embossed the bird's head one more time just because I didn't want the eyes to be pink and I thought I'd just colour that up and then fussy cut that out and I'm just using some Copics there and just being careful not really to touch the embossing powder because Copics don't really like embossing powder. And I've got some awesome acetate paper here from We Are Memory Keepers and this is a gold dotted chevron pattern and you notice I've only used just a little bit of it because this is something I'm definitely going to hoard for years as well or I'll, I reckon I'm just going to have to buy another one. They're so sweet. So what I want to do is actually pop this up with my front panel and to do that I'm just sort of laying that on top and I've added some stamp runner to the back of my pink panel and then I can cut off any excess and I've used some foam tape on the back so that I can pop that whole section up on the front of the card so there's not much left of my card to do now and I'm just working out the placement for my sentiment and I'm not really happy with the way that the birds beak is looking there and I just thought it might be easier to colour it directly on the design like on that embossed paper and then I'll cut the eyes out separately and there was a few ways I thought I could have attached this hug sentiment and I'm using these horrible clear pop dots that I've got and I'm cutting them small they don't stick very well so I hate using them but I really wanted this to sit up off the paper, off the card front so what I've done is added a bit of multi map medium to the back just to make sure that it stays and that way it is popped up but I could have just actually added the multi medium behind the embossed area and set it directly on the card front I just wanted that bit of height and I'm using the liquid glue to add the eyes of the bird as well and that's my finished card for today. I hope you've had some fun. I'll be back again real soon. So till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.